guys, I'm Linda. And I'm Vicki. And we are Partners, Partners in Crime. Crime. We um, have something a little different today for wine. Mm-hmm. Choco vine. And it is chocolate and raspberry. Yep, it's a red wine. Kind of. It looks more like chocolate milk. Uh, but it's, it is like it. It is wine. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll let you know. Yeah. But I was excited because, you know, I'm the sweet wine liker. So... Mm -hmm. This might be pretty good. All right, let's try it. Smells like chocolate milk with some raspberry in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's sweet, I have to say it's sweet, but it is really, really good. You don't like it? I do. Okay. I do. Does it taste like wine? what it tastes like it tastes like candy chocolate candy yeah yeah chocolate raspberry candy with some alcohol that's good twist. that's what it tastes like yeah yeah but yeah. it's good hey to me you can't go wrong with candy wine and it does have a heart on it so i think this is like perfect for valentine's day so or a warning that it might not be too good to yeah. drink a lot of <laughs> <laughs> well we have, uh, we would like to talk about Lori and Chad, mm -hmm. our famous, our favorite criminal couple. Yeah. Um, and there are some new events that have taken place. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, Chad's attorney uh, filed a motion to have the charges against Chad dismissed. Yeah. He claimed that there just was not enough evidence to show the charges, the conspiracy charge, the, you know, I forget all the charges exactly. Yeah. But there just wasn't enough for mm -hmm. those four felony counts. And um, not as a result, but in, in, in turn, mm -hmm. uh, pro uh, the prosecutor would file the motion this to, is big, yeah. To have the cases joined as one, Lori and Chad, to try mm -hmm. them as in one arena, one case. Yeah. And I will put the motions. I will have a copy of them, and I'll list them on the screen so you can take a look at them. Now, I was a little surprised that he would want to do that because if they're sitting next to each other, they're not going to want to turn on each other if they've combined the cases. Well, they can't, I mean, if they're not put on the stand, then they're not going to talk against each other. Yeah, but still, you know, you're still yeah, next to me, yeah. you know, I, I, but then again, it could be. Well, it's the prosecutor that wants to do this. Right, it's the prosecutor. Yeah, that, so. Right. And he could have a plan. Right, which I'm that, sure he does. That, yeah. And I'm thinking his plan is to join them. And then they have an opportunity before the trial to do that. To, to start pitting themselves against, against each, each other. other. Each other. Okay. Right. But it will save Idaho some money. Mm -hmm. it, it won't be as much as a burden on the witnesses to mm -hmm. have to do both trials. Right. And, right. and the family members mm -hmm. to have to sit through that. And essentially, it's the same. The charges are the same for right. both of them. Right. So it does make sense for him mm -hmm. to want to do that. Yeah. So we just have to, I'm sure you're going to have their attorneys filing motions to say they don't want this to happen. And ultimately, it's the judge that can determine the, that. The judge so, will determine it. Yeah. But there will probably be a, a motion to change the venue. Hmm. Because they're saying that they can't get a fair trial because everyone in Idaho... Mm -hmm. So, you know, knows about everything about the case. Right. But listen, we're in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we know about it. <laughs> we know about it. So do a lot of other people. And across the world. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, 
I don't think it's gonna uh, be hard not to find people. Yeah. Although there are some people, uh, we'll talk to people we know, and we'll say, "Oh, did you hear about this?" Oh, I've never heard of yeah. that. And we'll have them watch our videos. I didn't know anything about that, so I guess it's you know if you're following this if kind you're of following thing, thing, yeah, but which you know, we it's, do. It's been on national TV. It has. And yeah. you know, Dateline did a show about it, and mm -hmm. you know, it's it's been there, out there, yeah. and. Who didn't know about OJ? Right. And who didn't know about Casey Anthony? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I know. I, I, but I'm sure that will be granted. They're going to allow them to change venue. And it's it's worse when it's that particular area, too, because, you know, it's not necessarily that you're paying attention to this kind of stuff, but everywhere you go, there's a news fan or, you know, there are reporters everywhere. You kind of wonder, what's this about? Right. You know, so it's harder for... Right. People in that area to not realize right. what's going and I on. I think I think it was Eric from um, East Idaho News. At least I think it was him who said, "You know, you go into a barber shop, they're talking about it. Right. You go into yeah. a grocery store, they're talking about it. Mm -hmm. you know, everywhere you go, they're talking about it." Yeah. But, and I was watching Court TV, so they were talking about these motions as well. And Ashley Banfield uh, was talking about when Chad and Lori were talking on the phone and they were searching J uh, Tad's, eh, Chad's property, can't uh -huh. even talk. And she was saying, if you listen to Lori's side of that conversation, she thought she sounded confused about, oh, they're searching they're inside like she kept asking where they were searching are they searching inside are they take are they getting stuff outside again um and he's saying no they're searching the property so she was saying that she thought it spoke volumes that lori might actually she might not have known where the kids were mm -hmm. maybe she was being told and I'm just playing devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. And then you did have Julie Grant say that does sound important. And but you also have to realize Lori is a manipulator and she could be a good actress. So she could just be, oh, well, she knew that she was, was in being, jail. She yeah. knew it was being recorded. Yeah. So she's sly like a fox. I mm. mean, she was playing that. So she could say, and they could use that. Look, yeah. She didn't know. Listen to her voice here. Listen to what right. she's saying. Right. And that's what Ashley was saying. She thought it sounded genuine, but you just don't know. Come on, Ashley. <laughs> you don't Come on. know. And yeah, she is a manipulator. Yeah, so right. she, she knows what to do. Um, so, yeah, some more interesting. I did find something on online that and we did see body cam footage of Lori when she was getting arrested in, in Hawaii but I'm going to post the whole video it's like seven minutes um I did not see the whole video before I've only seen snippets so I figured I found it I'll put it online and if people have already saw have seen it I'm sorry this is something that I just found and other people might not have seen the whole video right. and so this I'll is have what, that on it's, there it's actually body cam footage correct yes so, yeah that's kind of cool yeah and so it's a police perspective of what what actually happened right they found her yeah so they basically show her she was the one in the driver's seat she gets out she's looking at these papers like yeah you know and then she's just like like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Did you see the, there was another um, interview with a woman who was in the airport with them when they first arrived in Hawaii? I don't know. She was interviewed and she recognized who they were. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, she said to her husband, look who it is, it's them. Right. And I don't know where they were coming from, but she recognized them and they went up to the car rental stand mm -hmm. and Lori and Chad were right next to them okay so she looked at Lori and Lori looked at her and she mouthed to Lori where are your children mm-hmm oh wow and she went like this where are your children I see you right and Lori went oh my goodness gracious so her 
Yeah, and it, oh, it's just so knowing what happened to those poor kids, mm. you're just, oh, and, it just uh, seems like th these people are just heartless, just so sick. Yeah, Very sick. Yeah, so there are the new new updates that we had for Lori and Chad, and if I find any other interesting little tidbits, I'll try to throw it in here too. So great. Um, you know, new pictures and that sort of thing. So it's always, it's always nice to stumble across something new that we haven't seen before. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's what we have as far as Lori and Chad are concerned. So we will find out when um, the judge makes a decision on putting both trials together and then I guess they'll have an updated date if they do decide to do that. Right, and Lori's preliminary hearing is September 10th? Yes, yes, that's so right. That, we haven't had one for her yet. No, so that that, was, that's coming up. Yeah, so we'll do something on that this week. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Okay, I think that's it. So you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. We are wow. doing this on um, Labor Thursday. You might not see it until a little bit later, but you guys enjoy, be safe, be healthy, and until next time, bye. bye.
open up the side window here.